Good morning. Hi, I'm Stephen Fern, one of the orthopedic surgeons, part of the Bone and Joint uh, Center, and we just want to talk about some dressings today that we're going to go through uh, with some explanations as to why we use them and some expectations of uh, what they can look like in the post-operative course. This can apply to hip surgery, knee surgery, shoulder surgery, and various other surgeries. We use these dressings because they're very convenient, they're waterproof, they allow showering, uh, and by and large they uh, require minimal maintenance. So um, with that we can start going through them. So the first one that we often use is called a Therabond. Again, it's completely watertight when we put it on the operating room. The center portion actually has antimicrobial properties, uh, which can help bacterial counts stay low after your surgery. And of course, they're put on in the operating room, which keeps a sterile environment. <clears throat> the other one that we often use is an Aquacell AG. Again, a similar process with a waterproof seal and then a central portion of the dressing, which has antibacterial properties, which allows it to stay in place usually until your first post-operative appointment. So in this instance, we actually have one of the dressings on our staff. This is Marie, she's helping us out today. So in this instance, you can see one of the Therabond dressings actually on her knee as if she had a knee replacement. And you can see that the dressing itself is completely intact. The edges are sealed all the way around and it is completely waterproof and okay for shower. So in this instance, we actually have a, again, a Therabond dressing, but in this example, the dressing itself is completely saturated on the inside. The absorbent portion is full of fluid. You can feel that and you can see it, but the edges of the dressing are completely sealed. And again, it maintains its integrity. It's waterproof and safe to shower with. In the final example, we actually have a dressing that is now completely saturated and has excessive fluid at the bottom. Sometimes these will actually even start peeling up as you see at the top of the dressing here. In that instance, this dressing is no longer maintained its integrity. It's no longer waterproof and needs to be changed. So what we recommend is removal of the dressing, change to a dry dressing, Call the office Monday through Friday. Let us know what's going on with your dressing so that we can get you in and have the wound evaluated.